Welcome to Your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 527. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book but you're having trouble finishing it, or perhaps you're at the stage where you need help reaching more readers to let them know about your book, you are in the right place. Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc., like that stuff we write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 19 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success as an author, and they have the ability to turn someone who barely sees themselves as a writer into a published book author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. And once again, good morning. Happy Sunday, as we do every Sunday here on the show. It is Sunday story time, where I grab a book off my shelf, whether it's one of my own books or a client book or a book that's made an impact on me in some way. I read an excerpt. And the most important thing I do after that is I pose some sort of learning question for you or some sort of activity, some way that you can hopefully apply the book excerpt to your writing, which of course is the point of the show, your book. So the book I've chosen today is possibly my favorite writing fundamentals book. It is Story by Robert McKee, and he's writing it about screenwriting. That's his his profession. He's a famous screenwriter and screenwriting instructor. However, I have found that this book adapts very easily to all types of writing, because if we think about it, you know, characters, plot lines, engaging the audience's attention, everything that happens in a screenplay really needs to happen in every book. Therefore, that's why Story by Robert McKee is one of my favorite writing fundamental books. So here's an excerpt about characters. And by the way, this applies to fiction. Again, I'm going to broken record here, fiction and nonfiction books, because even whether you're writing your memoir or a business book where you're the narrator, there are characters in your book that it's your responsibility as the author to make sure you build rapport between yourself and the reader and your characters. Sometimes the character is just you as the narrator. So here's the excerpt. Fall in love with all your characters. We often see films with a cast of excellent characters, except one who's dreadful. We wonder why until we realize that the writer hates this character. He's trivializing and insulting this role at every opportunity. And I'll never understand this. How can a writer hate his own character? It's his baby. How can he hate what he gave life? Embrace all your creations, especially the bad people. They deserve love like everyone else. And here's a hint about villains. If your character's up to no good and you place yourself within his being asking, if I were he in, his, in this situation, what would I do? You would do everything possible to get away with it. Therefore, you would not act like a villain. You would not twist your mustache. <laughs> Sociopaths are the most charming folks we'll ever meet. Sympathetic listeners who seem so deeply concerned about our problems while they lead us to hell. An interviewer once remarked to Lee Marvin that he'd played villains for 30 years and how awful it must be always playing bad people. Marvin smiled. Me? I don't play bad people. I play people struggling to get through their day, doing the best they can with what life has given them. Others may think they're bad, but no, I never play bad people. That's why Marvin could be a superb villain. He was a craftsman with a deep understanding of human nature. No one thinks they're bad. If you can't love them, don't write them. On the other hand, permit neither your empathy nor antipathy for a character to produce melodrama or stereotype. Love them all without losing your clear-headedness. And that again is an excerpt from my favorite writing fundamentals book, Story by Robert McKee. I just want to repeat one of those last lines there. If you can't love them, don't write them. That is fantastic. And it's so true. And this is just one of my stickler things about books is I really need to be rooting for at least one character in the book. And there have been great books that I've read where I just I don't enjoy them as much as, you know, the New York Times bestselling lists and all these things, possibly because I, if I can't find a character to root for, it really takes away from my reading experience. So keep that in mind. And here's your ex exercise, your activity for today. Think about the book that you have, the, the, your work in progress, the book you're writing. And write one thing you love about each character in your book. 
So again, fiction or nonfiction. So obviously a novel, it's self-explanatory. Take each of your main characters. I would say you maybe don't have to fall in love with every single little supporting character, but for at least your main characters, both protagonists and ad- antagonists, write one thing that you love about them, like if, as if they were people in real life. And you were saying, wow, I really love this about this person. And an example, if you're writing a memoir, those are all characters. So maybe there's someone in your life that you're writing about in your memoir, and maybe they were a source of a lot of trouble and angst or bad things in your life. This is the challenge for you. Write one thing that you love about them, because if you don't love your characters, if you don't have, you know, just some level of enjoyment of your characters and respect for them, it will come through and your readers will feel the effect of that. So that's today's exercise. Write one thing you love about each character and each person in your book. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I am helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And I would love for you to drop by my Ink Authors group on Facebook and let us know how we can support your writing goals. Ink Authors on Facebook. Until tomorrow, happy writing.